Hi, it's Dwyer. It is July the 16th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk heavyweight boxing. Let's talk Derek Chisora against Joe Joyce. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in the description of this video is an important link. That link is to a talk sport article in which Alexander Usyk reveals the name of the heavyweight who he felt hit him the hardest. Now keep in mind, at the time this article was written, Usyk had already fought Anthony Joshua twice. He had already fought Daniel Dubois. Right, so who does he believe is the heavyweight who hit him the hardest? And the answer is Derek Chisora. Now, as I have maintained here, of all the heavyweights Usyk fought, I believe it is Derek Chisora who gave him his toughest fight. Understand, in that fight, Derek Chisora at times has Usyk pinned against the ropes. He's not giving Usyk time to think. He's the one heavyweight who is front foot heavy against Alexander Usyk. Well, Usyk now admits that he was hit hardest in that fight. People need to understand Usyk is a poker player. If Usyk were hit by a car, his facial expression wouldn't change. Just understand that Usyk was under heavy pressure in that Derek Chisora fight. Let me also make a few other points and understand this is not a fan club site. Some of the statements here are going to be criticisms of the fighters. Because we're trying to get an edge on the casino, and you can't without an honest thought process. Joe Joyce is defensively challenged. He gets hit flush in the head with shots, right? Kind of like, dare I say it, Daniel Dubois. Now let's remember Joseph Parker, who fought both. Joe Joyce and Derek Chisora. You remember that Joe Parker first fight, now we can put it in context. Parker's a guy who fought Zhili Zhang. Parker's a guy who has fought AJ, went the distance against AJ, went the distance against Zhili Zhang, went the distance against Deontay Wilder. Right, Joe Parker more than most fights heavy punchers. The first Derek Chisora fight, when there was some unfamiliarity between the two guys, you might recall in the opening seconds of the first round, Joe Parker hits the canvas. Folks, this didn't happen in the Deontay Wilder fight. This didn't happen when Parker fought Joe Joyce. It happened against Derek Chisora. Right? Revisit that. Joe Parker on the canvas. It's not a slip. Joe Parker is not saying it was a slip. He got caught by the guy who Alexander Usyk claims hit him the hardest in the heavyweight division. Now, knowing, recognizing that Derek Chisora hits harder than people think, I'm taking the favorite. Joe Joyce in this fight for a number of reasons. The first is that Derek Chisora is 40 years old. It's a hard 40, folks. He's been KO'd four times in his career. In my opinion, too, these days there's a stamina problem involving Derek Chisora. 
He fades in fights. He starts like a locomotive, but then loses steam. Let me say, too, in terms of a lot of wear on the tires, folks, some of his recent fights have been brutal. I thought that December 2022 beating he took from Tyson Fury was brutal. That's one of those fights I saw where, you know, I was hoping the ref would jump in earlier than he did. Right? You saw the referee and you thought, hey, player, please end this fight. Right? Understand, too, Joe Parker has a memory. There's a rematch between Derek Chisora and Joe Parker. And in that rematch, Derek Chisora hit the canvas multiple times. Now, I know many of us have memories of Joe Joyce hitting the canvas against Zhili Zhang. Folks need to realize that even though Joyce has two losses, he's only lost to one man, Zhili Zhang, who is a southpaw. Now, I consider Zhang to be one of the best heavyweights. In my opinion, Zhang is underrated. Right? I also believe that Zhang hits harder than most. Right? I believe Zhang hits harder than Derek Chisora. Against righties, and Chisora is a righty, just understand that Joe Joyce is unbeaten. And that by the way, includes a victory over Joe Parker. In fact, a knockout victory. Right? Let's also recall that Joyce, who's unbeaten against righties, has one of the heavyweight division's better jabs. Derek Chisora is a bobber and weaver. He's going to have to get by Joe Joyce's jab to reach Joe Joyce. There's a length dynamic. Joyce is the taller fighter, right? Joyce sticks that jab out. It's hard to get by that jab and to actually then still have power to hit Joyce flush. Now, I understand the boxing hardcore is going to rightfully argue that Chisora got through Kubrat Pulev's jab. But I would argue that Joe Joyce hits harder than Kubrat Pulev. Right? Pulev is a guy with a great jab. I'm not going to dispute Pulev's jab. But if I slip the jab, I'm not going to get hit with the type of shots that dropped Joe Parker when he fought Joe Joyce. Right? I believe Chisora is going to start fast. I believe Joyce, who does get hit too much, has enough of a neck to take the shots early. He did against Joe Parker. Then I think Joyce starts to pull away as Derek Chisora starts to look like a 40-year-old guy who has been in many tough fights and who has been stopped four times. The bet I'm recommending here is dangerous because it's unhedged. But it is on the favorite. I'm rolling with Joe Joyce in this fight, right? Derek Chisora has a lot of heart. Both of these guys do. It's unclear to me whether there's going to be a stoppage, right? But what I do believe is clear is that Joe Joyce, both guys need the win. Joe Joyce is the bigger puncher to me. Joe Joyce has the better jab to me. Joe Joyce is the kind of guy who should be able to throw enough jabs. Let's remember, Joe Joyce also beat Daniel Dubois. I believe Joe Joyce is the guy who should be able to throw enough jabs, should be able to weather the early storm on Derek Chisora, and should be able to learn enough from the Joe Parker tapes to beat Derek Chisora. I like Joe Joyce in this fight uh, with a recognition that Derek Chisora, among everyone in the heavyweight division, has really fought top-tier competition. 
right? Let's remember, he even fought Vitaly Klitschko back in the day, right? He's fought Tyson Fury more times than any of us want to remember. He fought and left an impression on Oleksandr Usyk. You heard me mention Kubrat Pulev, right? He's fought Kubrat Pulev already. He fought, of course, David Hay. Derek Chisora is that prototypical grizzled vet who knows his way around the ring. I just feel that he's fighting a guy who, at this stage of their careers, has more left in the tank. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I expect Joyce's jab to be an issue, more of an issue than Kubrat Pulev's jab was. I'm expecting Joyce to land flush right hands like he did against Joe Parker. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.